I'm here because I have deep concerns about the Iranian nuclear agreement that Congress begins considering today. It will be up to members of the House and Senate to vote yes or no on the joint comprehensive plan of action that President Obama has signed with the government of Iran. For every member of Congress, no matter how many years they serve or how many votes they cast, this is a vote that will be remembered. The claims made by President Obama, Secretary Kerry, and other members of the Obama administration about this agreement have been robust. This deal will, they have said, and I quote, prevent Iran from obtaining a nuclear weapon, cut off all Iran's pathways to a bomb, including the covert pathway, provide us with a certainty we will know what they are doing in the nuclear arena, prevent nuclear proliferation, encourage stability across the Middle East, and prevent war. These assertions are simply false. The President's own words make clear that this agreement does not keep Iran from nuclear capability. Quite the opposite, it guarantees that in less time than has passed since 9-11, a regime with death to America as a pillar of its national policy will have the ability and the material to produce an arsenal of nuclear weapons. We are asked to rely on the word of a country that has cheated on every nuclear agreement to which they have been a party that once they have the means in place to become a nuclear power, they won't do it. Insisting on key non-negotiable points and maintaining a credible threat of military force are the indispensable elements of serious diplomacy over the Iranian nuclear program. That is what the administration should have done all along. Instead, they have presented us with a deal that strengthens our adversaries, threatens our allies, puts our own security at risk. They have placed on the table for congressional review a deal that provides weapons and funds to a regime that has pledged to destroy Israel and maintains death to America as a central pillar of its policies. Arming and funding Iran while simultaneously providing them a pathway to a nuclear arsenal is not an act of peace. It's not, as President Obama claims, the only alternative to war. It is madness. The vote on the Iran deal on the nuclear agreement is ahead, and the stakes are very high. Every member of Congress swears to defend the Constitution from enemies outside our shores. I took that oath ten times, and every time I put my hand on the Bible, I understood that we were also pledging to defend this great and good nation. A vote to reject this agreement will do that.